Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. On the last episode, we came to Elden, finally. Um, and we started exploring the area and got ourselves some goddess cubes and whatnot. Oh crap. Let's get out of here, Link. Um, now we need to... Now we're in this little cave and we just need to kill all these moblins for one of the magmas. So let's continue to fight these guys. Um, I think the guys that are the biggest pain in the butt are probably the ones that have the big clubs. They seem to block a lot better than just the regular ones. Um, you can hear that the there's a guy with the, the horn still, and he's calling more of them in. So this will this could be a never-ending fight if you don't go up there and get him. So what you gotta do is you gotta make sure you go up and get him first. Otherwise he'll keep calling them in. And he's actually up here. So come up here and kill this asshole first. Go. Ooh, another email. Holy cow, my phone is blowing up. Um, let's get rid of this guy. Holy cow, there's two of them. Jerk. Uh, come on, come on. I thought I killed you already. No, I just didn't finish him. Alright, well, that takes care of that. Damn right, I took care of every last one. And you can see there's a treasure up there. We can't get to it quite yet. I don't know if he dropped anything cool, but alright, let's go talk to our little buddy back over here. See what he's got to say. You're one tough customer. Thanks for all your help. Yeah, you know, just another day's work for Link. I don't blame you for not knowing this, but us Magma's always on our debts. Let me give you something to prove it. Any special requests? Uh, rupees is tempting, but how about a way forward? Oh, right, you're trying to find your friend, aren't you? In that case, take these things. There's something pretty special if I say so myself. You got the digging mitts. Use these sharp claws to dig through patches of soft earth. Be sure to try digging with A anywhere you see the si see signs that something has been buried in soft ground. Um, these are actually kind of cool. I like these. Um, they'll show you right there. That That's what a digging spot looks like. So anytime you see one of those, you're going to want to make sure to uh, dig there. And without further ado, let's do it. And this one actually gets us a way forward. So let's go up. Here's another one. Hey, all right, Elden Ore. Three pieces of Elden Ore and a... T Holy cow. Three pieces of Elden Ore and 40 rupees? Wow. That was pretty good. Um, you don't always get that good of holes, trust me. What's this one? Uh, another one of those. Um, that one was really good. You do can dig multiple times though too, like I said, so or like I showed. So make sure you you dig out all the spots. Oh god, I hate this room. Oh hey, it's another magma. Whoa, you scared me silly. You can't just start digging right above my head, you know. But I get where you're coming from. You never know what you're going to find when you dig, so it's impossible to stop. He's kinda right. Rupees are the most common treasure you'll dig up, but sometimes you might even score some Elden Ore or hearts. So if you run across a hole and you've got the time, dig, dig, dig. What are we, fucking diglets? But, alright, anyway, you can see we've got more of these little, like, sea lion things in here. Um, they're kinda blocking our way. Nothing in this one? Ah, uh, dig spot. Ah, uh, just hearts. But you can see it's a good way to get hearts. You can get three, four, or five of them on, uh, holes. I think you can get up to five. Uh, another dig spot. I'd personally rather have rupees or the Elden Ore. Uh, not bad, eight more rupees. Um, there's... Looking for a spot with bombs. There we go. We gotta take out all these stupid sea lion guys. So make sure you're... Rolling. Um, I'll stick to check. If I ever get a five rupee, I might go in there and grab it. But one, eh, who cares? Uh, so let's see, where's another one? There's actually a place you can... Crap, let's get rid of that. There's actually a uh, hole in the wall you can bomb too for a chest that I believe contains 100 rupees. Oh crap, where am I going? Crap, throw it! Alright, I gotta remember where that guy is. Straight ahead. This is actually a little more challenging than it should be. It'd be great if we didn't actually have to use these bombs that were in the specific areas. I gotta find that. Oh, there's the hole in the wall right there. So let's let's get that while we uh, noticed it. So 
just gonna want to drop it in front of the hole. Um, it's not extremely obvious like they were in Ocarina of Time, but still, it's uh, pretty noticeable. So, Alright, let's go see what we got. Like I think, like I said earlier, I think it's 100 rupees. It could just be another collectible. Either or, it's good. Okay, Alright. Silver rupee worth a whopping 100 rupees. You must feel like a celeb. Link is a celeb. I don't know what you're talking about, game. Alright, so what do we got? How many more of these guys we gotta kill? I thought there was another patch of bombs somewhere. In fact, I think it's right here. Yep, right here. So if you want to kill the rest of them, which I, you might as well. I mean, why not? Oh, I didn't kill him? No? Alright, well, this one will. Or it won't. Are you kidding me? There we go. I think you gotta get it pretty close to the edge of where they're their their uh, hole. Perfect. That might be the last one. Just one rupee. No, no, there's one more. Right there. Yeah, we might as well kill them. I'm sure they'll probably all respawn, but maybe they don't. Alright. Ooh, there's a fiber. So we'll snatch that up. And let's be on our way. I think this is the right way to go. This must be another wind. Yep. Take that up. And take this up. Oh, this didn't knock us out, did it? Oh no, it did. Um, there's still something else I want to do in there. Hmm. Dress all in black. That a friend here? Oh god, no, it's Giraham. Oh, I hate Giraham. He danced so Giraham, yeah, sure. He probably just danced right over it. What a jerk. Alright, well, before we go, that's where we need to go. Oh, uh, crap. Um, when you dig, watch. Make sure you're watching where you dig, too. You want to make sure you're not digging towards stuff that will lead off an edge. You don't want to lose your items. So try to not dig towards the lava. Um, we're actually gonna go back into that cave though. There's a. I, I remember I pointed that chest out to you. There's a chest and um, I believe some actually more rupees in there that we can get. I just gotta remember where they are. Ooh, there's a. There's a ladybug. Let's grab that ladybug. All right. You caught one volcanic ladybug. They say these bugs get their deep red hue from the ore they eat. They are slow moving and tend to stay in one place. So starting to get enough, you know, enough bugs here. We're eventually we'll get them all, or at least one of each. Um, who knows? I maybe I will show you guys to, to infuse some potions, but I u mainly use bugs just to sell because I'm money hungry in this game. Um, so we don't want to go that way yet. Here's where we can bomb that shortcut. That'll actually, right where we got that first goddess cube, this is actually what we're going to open up. So I think we got the first goddess cube, like, right down here. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, no, maybe not. We got the first goddess cube over here. So, um, oh, let's just continue back on. We want to go back in into that, um... Oh, I think I actually went the wrong way. But that's alright, we can still get there from here. We want to continue back into that cave, like I said before. Ah, we'll have to go back around these guys. That's alright. There's a collectible that these guys will drop that I actually haven't gotten yet, so... I don't mind killing a few extra if I can show you guys that. Let's finish him. Ooh, right in the throat. Still, no, damn it. Those collectibles, I swear, are some of the hardest collectibles to get. Oh, again. Let's watch this for a third time, shall we? Um, those collectibles that I'm not gonna say what they are right offhand yet, but it seem like to me sometimes they can be the hardest ones in the game to get because they're. It just seems like you never get them ever. Uh, let's. See. Yeah, we're gonna go back and get those dig spots. I think actually is what we're gonna do next, since we're since we're here, we might as well. No, there. Ooh, almost missed him. Let's see what we got up here. Just rupees. 
Uh, that's fine, I'll take the rupees. So make sure you don't dig this one off the ledge. Oh, I guess that was worth it. Yeah, you might as well like the link. Okay, there's another way in this place to go that we didn't go before. Uh, I want to say it was up here, maybe? Did we go this way? Oh, great, they're all back. We must have, uh, what I think happened is I think I didn't, I think there's another way to go in this room. And I think I just went back the way I came, which will lead you out. Ooh, uh, that's a nice chunk of rupees. Take a look at the map quick. Oh, okay, I see. I have a feeling I'm going to get blown up here, but... Ah, it looks like I want to kill this guy. Take a look at the map. Yeah, we're going the right way. And we want to take this path, right? Nope, 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 nope. We want to go take this left path here. That's what we wanted to do. So now there should be a room that's got three different... Yep, here we go. This is what we wanted to do. Okay, so you come up here, and you see a little, there's a little village up here. So first let's take care of the, the moblins. Didn't want to finish him? Alright, fair enough. I think there's a stool in one of these if you need to sit down from fighting all those moblins and get your hearts back. Could be wrong, but I, I could have swore there was one in here. Yep, there it is. Another Megaton hammer. A few dig spots. Ooh, I like that. 15, 20. 20 rupees? Alright. So, so far we've gotten quite a few rupees and a good chunk of Elden Ore. Oh, it's alright. Nothing there. Now that we've got three paths here that we can take. If you take the middle one, this will lead you to that treasure chest that we couldn't get to before. So you might as well do that. It's definitely worth it. Just don't fall off. Um, the left one, I believe, leads to nothing. Another piece of Eldenor. And the right one, I think, just leads to some rupees. Um, you know, I think we're going to go ahead and get it just because I'm curious as to what's in it. I got to remember how to get back up there. It's not hard to get up there. You just go this way and then go left. So let's get back up there and we'll take that rupee one and then that's. That's the last place we need to go in here. That will be it. And then we'll continue on with the plot. God, I always do that. Come on. Let's, let's get up that ladder. Enemies don't respawn, so let's go down that right path. I think you could actually probably run down that if you really wanted to. Oh, it just brings us here. So it really doesn't bring us anywhere. Um, we can dig here, though. Up to here. Must be another big spot. Okay, maybe that did give us something. So yeah, just some rupees. But hey, look, nothing wrong with that. Alright, so now let's get out of here. Let's go this way. And go right. Oh boy. So we need to get to that area. Oh, we're gonna have to kill him, I think. That's okay, there's just the bombs that are over here. So let's just... Or we could just kill this guy too, I suppose. Good enough. And let's get out of here. Oh, there's another amber relic and some places to dig. We're gonna grab it. Might as well. You guys know I love rubies. Better be something good in this one. Hey, hey alright. Nice. 16? I'll take that. Alright, so now let's get out of here. Okay, so now that we're up here, back out on the regular map, if it will load. There we go. Show this bridge. Uh, so how are we going to get across this bridge? Oh, well, it's just going to basically go for us, just like that. But how the hell did that happen? 
Whoa, who is that? Who the hell are you? Zelda, let's let's go. How the hell do we catch up to her so fast? Well, let's go down quickly. Let's go see what's down here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything. So, all right, screw that. Let's go back up. Let's go get to Zelda, shall we? Oh, don't forget to touch your bird statue. Zelda, 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 Zelda. And that's the switch that I think opened that uh, she hit to hit to make the bridge go. So where the hell do we want to go then? Where's Zelda? I thought you said she was ahead. Well, we've actually got this way, but no matter how hard you try to get that bomb over there, it's not going to work, so don't even try it for now. Instead, just go up this way. Get some fire keys. Come on, come on. Hey, alright, a monster claw. Don't you dare go in the lava. Perfect. That's our second one of those now, I believe. Third one total. Alright. Here, uh, make sure you got all the stamina you can, you can have, because you're going to need it to get up this hill. Go, Link, go. Go, Link, go. Um, be careful there, because you can see there's a moblin up there with a rock, and he will drop it on you. Um, this part is kind of cool, because you can knock these guys down, and as you can see, they'll roll down. Um, if they drop a treasure, I would say feel free to go down there and grab it. Um, and run over to this one quick. Digging these holes. Alright, rubies. Go ahead and grab this bomb and just chuck it off the edge. You can see the bomb will roll down and it should bust that open. Seeds. I completely forgot you can get seeds out of those. Um, looks like there's an amber relic down there. We might as well go down there and see what we got down there. Ooh, another couple ladybugs actually. You can see we just caught two of them at a time there. You can do that too, so that's kind of nice. Alright, nothing to that. So it looks like it's just a shortcut basically to come up here, I believe. Yeah, it's just a shortcut. This is where we got that first goddess cube at the beginning of the map. So we started out the map here. So yep, that's a shortcut just back to the back to the beginning. Um, it's pretty useful, so remember it's there. I actually always forget that it's there, so I might not ever use it, but you guys should remember that it's there, and please use it on your games if you're playing along at home. Alright, so now we've got... What we're going to want to do... Take out our slingshot. I think uh, we want to hit this guy out his way too high. Too low, and just right. Nope, still too low. There we go. You want to hit him so he drops his boulder. Oh, it actually killed him too. Look at that. Um, it, you just want to make him drop his boulder so you can get up there. What do we got over here nothing. And now we're in a little village of moblins. Oh, I thought I'd have to finish him there. I guess not. Um, there, there's a guy with a horn again. I'm not sure which one he is, but you want to make sure you, you kill him. Um, this is actually a good place to grind for those those uh, collectibles I was talking about. So I might actually sit here and grind a little bit, see if I can find one, since he's gonna keep calling people. Although I don't, they don't seem to be coming. So, huh? Well, first let's blow this up then, while we're waiting. He can sit there and toot his own horn all he wants. Doesn't look like his reinforcements are coming. Alright, we're not gonna go in there quite yet. Dig here. Oh, there's an Elden Roller again. Alright, let's try to catch this one. So you guys can see why they're my favorite. Um, they're really funny bugs, actually. There we go. You caught one Elden Roller. These small bodied bugs roll a big ball of. something. The way they busily roll stuff back to their nest is quite adorable. So quite literally, they're rolling around a ball of shit. So, that's why they're my favorite, because they roll around a thing of shit. <laughs> and it makes me laugh. Alright, so in order to get this guy to shut up, come up here, drop the bomb there. Try to get out of the way before that happens. But you'll knock him down there. And you'll make a way over to that other area. Uh, but we're going to go in here. I'll show you guys what's in here quick. While we're at it. 
Oh, what is this? Hey, is that a treasure chest? And what else? Nothing? Oh! It's a magma. A very ridiculous looking magma. Hello there, thanks for stopping by. First time here, am I right? Uh, yeah? The name's Tubert. Nice to meet you. I run this little game I like to call Thrill Digger. Thriller? For short, maybe? A little Michael Jackson reference? Um, so yeah, we're gonna play the Expert Course. I'll just show you guys this once. The Expert Course has more bombs, sure, but the more valuable rupees, too. It can be highly profitable or highly explosive. So this game, each round costs 70 rupees? Holy shit, sure, why not? Um, this game is kind of like Minesweeper, if you're familiar with that game. Um, the lower rupees, the, the lower the rupee number, the I think the less bombs there are close to it. So let's dig here. Oh hey, all right. First try, we got a we got the silver rupee. All right, so we're not gonna dig close to that one. Let's dig up here. Oh, we got <laughs> look at Link's face. That's funny. Oh, we lost ten rupees. You don't want to get the rupee, but I believe that if you get that, no matter what side you dig on, there should be any bombs. So let's see if I'm right. Yep. Ooh, there was a twenty. Um, there actually, I believe, is a three hundred rupee in here somewhere too. Oh, there's a bomb. Well, we stay. We still made what forty-five rupees. I don't see. I don't see the gold one. There's actually a couple more one hundreds in there. Not bad. So one fifteen. That's not bad. Um, this isn't necessarily the best way. No thanks. I'm done. This isn't really the best way to grind for rupees. There are better ways later, but it can be kind of fun. Um, so, I don't know, go ahead and try it. Uh, one thing you do want to do in here, though, is you can see these glowing spots on the walls. Go ahead and shoot them with your boom, or with your uh, slingshot. And a lot of them will actually drop the color rupee that it's associated with. Don't hit that one. We don't want the... Oh, well, I just hit the rupee with my slingshot. That was kind of cool. Um, we don't want the, the rupees, obviously. So you can see how disgusted Link looked. So here's another little tidbit you can do to get rupees. Um, I probably won't get them all, but might as well get a few of them, right? All the rupees count, so. There we go. Yeah, look at all those rupees. Looks like there's actually a spot to dig in here, too. Start running low on seeds here. I only got four left. Let's just dig here and then we'll get out of here. Got another piece, two more pieces of Eldenor. All right, so we're getting a ton of Eldenor. Oh, a couple more dig spots. Oh, another magma. Yeah, we don't care so much about him. All right, let's get out of here and continue on with the plot, shall we? Thanks for the free rupees, buddy. We'll see you later. I probably won't be playing that again. So, unless you guys want me to, I can do a maybe a bonus video or something of it playing it. Um, but other than that, yeah, I probably won't do that a whole lot. Just wanted to show it off once. So let's continue up here. A couple hearts. So happen we need them there. Some water, kind of randomly there. If you want to drink some water. I, I don't know really why it's there. Oh, let's come up here and make sure you got that stamina fruit if you're running low. Another ladybug. Might as well get her. Got it. Alright, so come around here. Uh, forget that guy. Ooh, I almost fell. We got another hill, and this time we've got a lot more characters, so... Make sure you got full stamina, run up the hill here. Ooh, that was close. I'm gonna push you off. See ya, buddy. Ooh, there's one. Go, Link, go! Alright, finally, we got an ornamental skull. This simple, slight... Wow, I don't even know what that... Slightly... Macabre fashion statement bears the Bob Lincoln symbol. 
Macrabe? Macrabe? Uh, man, they use some big words in this game. Holy shit. Um, Alright, so let's get back up there. Uh, you can only get those from Moblins unless you want to buy them. And for some reason, I'm just having a terrible time finding them. So that's why I say they're, they might be some of the hardest ones in the game to find. Oh, you prick. You damaged my shield. See if he gives me one, too. Nope. Alright, these guys are going to try to throw boulders at us again, but you can easily get past them, so no worries there. Then you can cut them. Ooh, ouch. That's got to hurt. Be careful for those boulders. Uh, no ornamental skulls. Uh... Perfect. All right, here you want to get out the slingshot again. I've only got four seeds left, so I'm really gonna have to make these count. You don't need to. You don't really need to do this, but you can. It just makes it a little bit easier and get rid of at least one of them. Oh, that's no. He dropped the ornamental skull too. Get up there, Link. Get up there and get it. Yes. Funny that it only takes one hit to kill them because they dropped their boulder on themselves. That's funny. Alright, and we've reached the top finally. What's up, dudes? Alright, well, it looks like they're looking for something. A key! K E Y key. Well, at least we know he can spell. Oh great, so we need to get in that door probably, and there's, f oh great, five pieces of the key that we have to find. Imagine that. Strange blonde girl in weird clothes. Hey, that's Zelda. Hmm. So, shit, the Moblins actually got her, I was too late. Well, that's not good. What do you guys need the keys for? Don't you think you could just... Dig inside? Maybe not. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can just dig your way in. There you go. Oh, Jesus Christ, took you long enough. Well, get in there then. He does look pretty dumb. All right, so yeah, we used dropped, and now we need to. Now we, uh, <laughs> woman in black. Come on, Link. Zelda. Ninety percent chance that the figure in the question was indeed Zelda. Well, we need to get in that room then. Ninety-five percent chance. All right, well, we should be able to get in there no problem. I'm sure we can find these keys. All right, so now she just basically made it where we can douse for the uh, the pieces of the key. So let's set that up. Um, it actually comes in handy because we're not using a guide or a walkthrough or anything. Finding these can be pretty tricky. Um, I do know where th I think I know where they all are. So let's just dig here and oh look at that, we got the first piece already. Sorry, right, there's one piece. Got up here, nothing. So come over here. Come up this way. Grab the hearts if you need them. Can dig up here. All right. Nothing up here yet. We'll come back to that area later on. Actually, let's go up here. Okay, so we got a thing we can bomb up here, but how the hell do we get a bomb up there? Well, one thing they added in this game, which I think is pretty cool, if you run over here and grab a bomb, you can actually do that. And now the bomb's up top there. And, oh, we got a goddess cube. Well, sweet. I think that's the fourth one. Yep, that should be number four. So, you know, I think that's going to be about it for this episode. 
I'm on the next episode. We'll find the last five keys, or the last four parts of the key, and we might even get into that temple. Because, um, as you could probably guess, that is the temple door right there that we're trying to get into. So, Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Let's play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword.